There's a thank you for thank you piano clubhouse TV. I have a subscription there when I first started learning how to play the piano. Very instrumental for I would like to say mimicking how to play songs. Ooh, was that a slight at them? No, because they're very instrumental. They're a stepping stone towards getting you to the next level. And that next level is actually pulling the sheet music and uh, reading the music. You know, uh, for the greatest love of all, of course they played it in a skeleton, which was... You know, they'll tell you exactly how to play that while you're seeing the finger positioning. Mine is to explain to you exactly what's going on. So when you pull the sheet music, the first thing I notice when I'm looking at the grand staff here and I'm using musical terms is that you have your treble clef. And, and mind you, these three, um, one, two, three, four, these two sets of grand staffs, mind you, they come in sets are the intro of the song, bam, bam. The first thing I notice, of course, I'm looking at the key signature. The key signature, you have three sharps indicating that this song is in the key of A. Three sharps. You have your, your G clef, and then you have your treble clef. But you also have on the same line, another G clef. You got two G clefs right here two G clefs right here, that's letting me know that I am not playing the bottom line in the treble clef, which starts with the key of G, B, D, F, and A. I'm actually gonna play the bottom line beginning with the G clef, starting with middle C. Really not starting with middle C, but I'm gonna position my hands where the key of A is since we're working in the key of A. So when, when I learned how to read the music, it's letting me know that instead of doing the basic, when you read the music, you know, when you read the music, it, there's, there's so much more ingredients. I encourage everybody, you know, if you're learning to, if this, if you're beginning your musical journey, it's okay to pull those uh, piano clubhouse TVs. I have a couple of them that I still subscribe to, out of um, out of homage. I'm paying homage, just like I'm using YouTube, and I still pay them homage. But I encourage everyone take the time out, learn how to read, pull a piece or two pieces of music each week, and start reading that. You know, pull a piece of music or two pieces and start reading that. Uh, don't start with no Chopin Nocturne Op 9. That's very tiny. I've got a, I've got a plethora of books here. Disney, Chopin, that writing is very small. And keep this in mind to encourage you to keep reading. Um, get your eyes used to playing above the grand staff and below the grand staff for more intricate music. Um, yeah. That that's my take on it. Hope you guys looked at the other video. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get into this tutorial. You know, we did uh Alicia Keys. Um we did Alicia Keys in the key of G. I wanna encourage you when when we re revisit that song, we're gonna do it in different keys so that you can get used to playing in all of your keys. Um, happy shedding. I, I, I didn't know how to end this. <laughs>